Hi friends. Welcome to a uh, chair yoga class. Everybody is invited. So just take a moment and make sure that you have a good setup. You do not need to use a yoga mat, but you can if you want. And a comfortable chair. It can be any chair around your house. And then I will guide you through a few things using a yoga block. You could use a book or you could use an imaginary block. And if you have a ball, it could be a tennis ball or it could be a golf ball. And then if you have a yoga belt, you could grab that or it could be a piece of fabric. It could be a sarong. It could be a belt, regular belt, a tie. Ties tied together. <laughs> and so just to have those nearby. And then if you want to play music, you can play music. Maybe there's someone you want to invite into practice with you or find a quiet space on your own. And we begin to settle in. <laughs> Good. And so if it feels safe to close your eyes, you can close your eyes. We're inviting in a soft and inward gaze. And allow yourself a moment to settle in to your surroundings. So notice the sounds in the space that you're in. Notice the way that the temperature feels as it brushes across your skin. And then a sense of your feet and their connection to the earth your sits bones and their connection to your chair. And then with your imagination mind, begin to trace up through the curves of your spine and a sense of your shoulders sweetly dripping over the support of your rib cage. Some awareness in your face. Is it possible to invite just a bit more softness there through the cheeks, the corners of the eyes, the brow. And as you land here on this piece of earth, with as much compassion as you can muster, begin to take in physical you. So scanning, you could start from the crown of your head or the soles of your feet. Maybe you start at the center of your heart and radiate out. Please know that there is plenty of space to have absolutely no idea how you're feeling in your body. But to check in with your bones and your muscles, your blood and your nerves, your energy levels and your digestion. And then notice the quality of your mind. And to acknowledge that each and every day, there are so many external influences right, that are affecting the narrative that's going on inside of our soul, our soul, right? We are soul. <laughs> so your yoga practice offers you a container to get a little bit less reactive to those external influences and begin to listen a little more to the internal landscape. Right? That deep place of knowing, that deep place of intuition to guide the way. Begin to observe your breath. Right? And as you shift your focus, to your breathing, notice if your breath itself shifts. Is it possible to simply be in the role of observer? Your inhalation, your exhalation. That sense of expanse, that sense of emptying out completely. That breath in the back of your throat, that little whisper deep in your inner ear. And breath will serve to guide the way as we explore this practice. 
if intention is part of your yoga, feel free to draw hands to heart center and take a moment. And this could be a word, a wish, a person, a question, an idea. Please don't be afraid to ask for something that you might need. The sound three ohms, you can join in or simply listen to Mark of the Game. Big cleansing breath. Inhale. We practice in a way that feels like it is in support of what's happening in life and in body. And from there, if you're wearing glasses, you can slide them off. And let's begin to rub our hands together, warming them up. So heat, energy, electricity in between your palms. And once that's present for you, open the hands up and soften, rest, release the weight of your heavy head into your hands. Blocking out the light. See if you can get a little softer in your neck and your shoulders. And then begin to massage your face, your scalp, ears, neck, shoulders. Maybe it's your limbs. Just to know that there is plenty of space to freestyle, to do as you are prompted internally with your yoga work. Good. And if you have taken glasses off, you can slide them on again and then step your feet just a little bit wider. With your hands heavy on legs, let's begin to draw some big circles with the torso. Let your head's just along for the ride. And curiosity about how it feels in your hips and your lower back. And then move the other way. Does that feel any different? Hmm. And then back through center, stepping your feet in and underneath you, finding that length in your spine. Draw some awareness to the back of your head. And from the back of your head, Begin to nod down. This can be big or little, fast or slow. Just find your expression. And when you're ready, shake your head. No, same thing. Comfortable range of motion. Any creaking or cracking, no problem at all. As long as there's no discomfort. And back through center. And then from here, draw some awareness to the tip of your nose. And now from the tip of your nose, begin to trace a circle. This can be big or little. And just keeping this along the plane of the body. It's a nose facing relatively forward the entire and then reverse. Does it feel any different to move opposite? Good. And then pause and just feel. And allowing these pauses to be just as important as any of the work going on in your life. And then drip your arms down along your sides. Full exhalation, we'll follow the breath. Inhale, sweep the arms up, any amount, comfortable range of motion, and exhale, float the arms down. 
few more times like that. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up. Good. And exhale down. From there, draw your hands to your hip creases and a couple little shrugs of the shoulders. Good. Opposite way. Good. And then take your time as you transition. We're going to walk ourselves over. So we're sideways on the chair. Bring your feet with you. Feel into your nice long spine. Notice where your shoulders are in space. And from here, we're going to twist around and grab hold of the back of the chair. You can grab anywhere on the back that feels comfortable and we'll follow the breath into this. Inhale, lengthen out through your spine. And then exhale, twist. And here, one hand is drawing you deeper into the twist and the other is gently resisting. You can float your gaze over your back shoulder and breathe. Three full slow cycles of breath, in and out. And then one. Take your time as you transition. We'll walk over to the other side, moving any props out of the way. Bring your feet with you. Take some time to align your ankles beneath your knees. Feel into your long spine, twisting shoulders around and grabbing hold of the back of your chair. We follow the breath. Inhale, press into your feet, lengthen, and then exhale, twist a little deeper. Maybe the gaze floats. And a few full, slow cycles of breath. In and out. In and out. Notice if your mind has wandered away. If it has, close your eyes down. And then come back through center. <laughs> Pause there. Thank you. And reaching your arms out in front of you, relaxing your shoulders and some circles at the wrists. Another way. Pause. And then flip a palm up and just very gently, right, any amount, draw those fingers back. And as you breathe into this, can you relax the tops of your shoulders just a little bit? And the other side. Breathing in. And then a gentle pressure at the top of the hand as we breathe in to the top of the wrist here, in and out. Remember, linger longer anywhere. No rush about it, or you can always come out earlier. And then other side. The birds are chirping here at Casa de Breezer. Fireside yoga. You know the fireside, right? <laughs> and then forearms together. Interlace the fingers the best you can, and then draw some circles. Brain teaser, reverse. And then shake it out. And you might scooch back on your chair a little bit if you're not already there and kick a foot up and circle from the ankle. Back. <laughs> reverse. And point and flex and point and flex and little toe. And squeeze them together and spread them out. Squeeze them together, spread them out, and down. Good. We go to the other side, other foot up, and circling. My feet tend to get cold, so I like to practice with my socks on. But if you want to have bare feet, great. Be comfortable. No reason to be uncomfortable. Right, other way, reverse. And point and flex and point and flex. Little toes. Scrunch them together. Spread them out. Scrunch them. Spread them. And down. Pause there and feel into the effects of your latest effort. Good. 
arms down along your sides. This time, palms facing behind you. Sit up nice and tall, different offering for the shoulders. Moving meditation. Exhale, fully. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Any amount, they might come up and overhead. And exhale, float on down. Inhale, up. And exhale down. We got some excitement in the neighbor's yard. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up. And cactus arm. This is real time, real life, no bet, right? <laughs> and we're going to add a twist. And from right behind your heart, exhale, twist to one side. Inhale, zip to center. Exhale, twist to the other side. Inhale, one more time, each side. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And down. Good. Inhale, draw your shoulders up towards your ears. Exhale, big side, drop them down. Two more times. Last one. Good. And then one foot heavy on the earth. Again, nice long spine. We move the legs. Inhale, float a leg up, flex the foot. Exhale, heel hovers. Inhale up, the cat has re entered the building. And exhale, heel hovers. Inhale up. And then keeping that press through your heel, mindful of your knee, some circles, right? Allowing this to be more about the hip socket than the ankle joint. And reverse. And down. Pause there. And notice. And go to the other side. So with an in breath, float up, flex your foot at the top. Exhale, belly button to spine, heel comes to hover, and a few times like that. We move our arms, we move our legs, we arrive inside of the practice. And next time you're up, pause there and circle from the heel. And reverse. Pause for a little more effort with caution. Both legs up, zip them together, grab hold of your chair and circle hold. As if you were a mer mermaid or a merman, right? Mer creature. And reverse. Good. Pause. Separate the feet, reach the arms, take up space, breathing in, breathing out. And climb on down when you're ready. Pause there. And good. And then scooch into the edge of your chair. Bring your feet with you. A lot of fun sounds in here right now. Homeschool is happening next door. This is our yoga homeschool, right? Home practice. So we're all in this together. Right? All figuring out a way to continue to show up and find a bit of stillness, of peace, of support in our lives and in our work. Exhale, fold. Inhale, slide the hands up your legs. Sternum forward, maybe a little toward the sky. You could peek up, see the sky if that feels comfortable. And then exhale, rounding hand, slide to your knees and draw your heart back. Walking onto backs of six bones and just moving through your cat cow, allowing your head to be along for the ride. Resisting the urge to just push at the ends of this. See if you can 
really feel your way through each and every vertebra. And the next time you come forward, if full flexion feels okay, chin into chest, you can spin your palms open, let your head hang heavy, and a few full, slow cycles of breath in and out. And then zip in in the low belly, slowly come up, grab hold of the sides of your chair, take once again the sternum toward the sky, little counter pose to gravity, to the folding in to oneself, and the breath. In and out. In and out. Good. Releasing that. Open arms wide, take up space, right? There you are, you matter, take up more space. Exhale, big hug, chin into chest, any amount. To a couple big breaths into the back of your heart. Inhale, open, good. And exhale, hug opposite, chin into chest, folding, breathing. In releasing that, returning hands to legs, long spine, clean and complete exhale. Good. From there, if you have a block nearby, we'll mix it up a little bit. So grab your blocks. Breath, just the effort. Squeeze a little more. And let it go. That's the refrigerator turning on now. <laughs> and then we're going to trade out the block for your ball, whichever one you have chosen. And then we're just going to offer some massage up to the footprints. So checking in with your arches, your toes, your heel. With this idea that the more we can enliven, right, the more feeling and sensation that we have in our footprints, hopefully the better we'll be able to balance, right? And balance is definitely a practice, right? Sometimes the older we get, the harder it is, or just depending on the day, right? So, just to be there with sensation, and then switch, other foot. This nice passive breath. Sometimes we can get into one of those spots that feels a little more tender and we're pushing with all of our might. And when we're doing that, oftentimes, oftentimes we hold the breath, right? But the breath is the informer, right? That reminds us, allows us to tune into is what we're doing appropriate, right? Or should we find another way? Should we ease up? Good. You can stick with your feet or invite that ball up and check in with your hands, with your legs can be a popular spot to trace along this pec minor here, right? Oftentimes the muscles in neck and shoulders get really long and tight. And as we fold into ourselves, these get really short and tight. And so here it can just be a nice hello. But again, the breath, breath to guide the way. Good. And when you're ready, releasing that, grabbing hold of your chair, and we're going to go for a run. And stop, and go, and stop, and go, and stop, and go, and stop, and go, and run, and stop. Pause there, and notice your heart rate, your body temperature. Maybe it feels as though a layer has been peeled back. Good. And from there, I'm going to take my socks off just so I have a little better traction in my footprints. And so long as you feel stable, we're going to do a squatting practice. So here in this squatting practice, there is such thing as the as-if practice. So you can just do the breathing and do it in your imagination. 
or you can follow along with me. So scooching all the way back into your chair, feel your feet on the ground, and a couple of arm variations. You can spin the palms open, a little more active variation for shoulders, right? External rotation, or hands to the heart. Press into your footprints, inhale, come up. Exhale, reach your sits bones back, and come down. We'll go a few more times, follow your breath. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Good, last one. Inhale, up. Exhale to hover, draw your hands to your heart. Shin bones straight forward, belly button is fine. Sink a little lower. And down. Pause there. And move. Need big, strong legs to support the joint. Make any adjustments, props out of the way. We'll have five rounds of a simple sun salutation. You can follow along with me or find your own way. This is our moving meditation, right? So it does not need to look like it does in my body, right? Gratitude for all the ways your strong body is continuing to show up for you. Full exhalation. Inhale, sweep the arms up, maybe the gaze follow. Exhale, heart leads the way as you dive down. Feel free to release your head. Inhale, lengthen, come halfway up. Hands can come to the fronts of your legs, extending crown to tail. And exhale, fold forward. Hands to the tops of your legs, peel up from the bottom tips of your shoulder blades. Shine the heart nice and long through the back of your neck. And then exhale, fold forward. And then really press into your footprints to support your low back. Come all the way up and hands to the heart. And there's our pattern. We're going to go four more times. Rest when you want to rest. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, lengthen. Back of the next day is long. Exhale, folding forward, hands to the tops of the knees, low cobra. And exhale, folding forward, press into feet, come up. And hands to the heart. Continuing on or rest, inhale up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. And release. Shine the heart. And release. Press into your feet, rise. And hands to the heart. You might try closing your eyes if you haven't already, just to see what that might inform as you move through. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release, inhale, come up into your little back bend. Exhale, fold forward. Press into your feet, rise. Good, and hands to the heart. One last round without all my yapping. Pause there. Inhale. Beautiful. Cruising along. You can use your strap, your scarf, your belt, <laughs> whatever you have, a rope, <laughs> and bring this around the ball of your foot. Side note, if you want to engage core just a little more or a little differently, you can scoot forward in your chair or you can be back, right? Right amount of work for you. And then draw the leg up. 
And so we're not hanging on for dear life, just kind of a looser grip in the strap. Press through your heel, draw your toes toward your body a little bit, sit tall. And just notice where you feel sensation and breathe into it. This is a great place to stay. Or a little bit of lateral movement. So you'll move the strap into one hand and the other hand can just rest nice and steady pelvic bowl. Exhale out to the side and inhale back in and just a couple more times like that. Be in no rush. Good. And then come on back through center. Please be mindful of your knee. We're going to have our version of figure four pose. Now you can bring the heel in just a little bit. Happy knee. You can bring it in a little bit more. Or if it's available, you can bring your ankle over your knee. And if you're here, let's fine tune. So find that plumb line ankle beneath your knee, flexion through that foot so this knee's really happy. And sit nice and tall. Find your breath. And again, it might not look like this in your body, and that's totally okay. Stay here or with a nice long spine, hinge fold forward so we're tilting at the pelvic bowl and then you can round and have a few breaths there. And when you're ready to come up, gently come up, no rush, and unwind. Pause and notice side to side. Second side. So right on the ball of the foot is the place on my foot where it feels the most comfortable and like I have or get rather the most information from my body. So drawing up and just to make sure that you're not gripping too tight, press through your heel, toes back, and then steady into a few full, slow cycles of breath. That reminder that our practice does not need to be complicated to receive benefit. And sometimes some of these very simple and obvious things can give us a lot of relief. Good. And then strap into both hands. Steady through the hips. Exhale out. Inhale. In. Exhale out. Inhale. In. Exhale out. You can stay there for an extra breath or three. And then when you're ready, come back through center. Might be really different side to side. So listen to your knees and the rest of you. Bending at this knee, dragging this heel up through your midline any amount. It might be that you bring it to rest ankle over knee. Check in with that plumb line. Flex your foot. Get a little taller. Breathing. And then if you want, folding forward. Wherever you go, bring your breath with you. And then up. And then wind. Big cleansing breath. Inhale. Big sigh. Good. And from there, get to the edge of your chair with caution and step your feet wide as your yoga mat. Grab hold and find just a little windshield wiper. I like to call this jazz feet. Right, like jazz hands. <laughs> Good. And then we're going to jazz foot our way all the way over to frame a corner of your chair and make any adjustments. And as always, find the expression that feels best for you. Bend up both knees. Step your feet as far apart as feels reasonable. This is a great place to stay. Or take your leg and begin to lengthen it. Make sure your hip feels okay. And then notice if you're leaning forward, can you find yourself fairly upright here? And then we'll add on to this shape. Palms up along your sides. Exhale completely. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And almost like a shoulder shrug, exhale your arms down like wings. If it feels okay, peek out over fingers for warrior two, Vira Vajrasana two. Now, if your shoulders don't love this, the variation is to spin your palms up and snug your elbows in 
toward your rib cage. That might feel better, but if it feels good to keep your arms out, go for that. Bring your attention right here to this moment. Reverse warrior. Flip the front palm. Reach straight up. Gaze where it's comfortable. It does not need to be at your fingers. And then side angle. So that top arm is going to come down like you're holding the tray of tea. You can reach straight up. Big breath in. If it feels okay to extend, go for it. And if today's the day where you want to effort more, you can try both arms reaching on that diagonal. And back to warrior two and down. And climb on back through the center. That's a long time for the hips to be wide like that and anything that feels like release. And then we go to the other side. Right, stepping your feet as far apart as feels comfortable for hips, knees, ankles, all those joints. And then if it feels okay for your hip, Lengthen that leg long. This is going to probably tilt your pelvic bowl. And so a little lift through that front hip tip. Right, so you're fairly upright. Palms up. Exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And then exhale, warrior two. Breathing in and out. Notice if you're gripping or holding anywhere unnecessarily. Remember, you can invite in that shoulder variation. Flip the front palm, reverse. And then into your side angle. Totally okay to engage a different way on the second side. And just offer some breath up to the shape that you're in. Inhale, back to warrior two, and down. And come back through center. Pause there. Thank you. Good. And from there, we're going to come up to stand. And I'm going to go ahead, my suggestion is for you to bring your chair to the top. And just how your head floats on top of your entire body. Good. Hands to your chair and then downward facing dog. So you can either grab hold of the top and walk yourself back. Keep your eyes open so you don't get dizzy. Soften your knees, drop your head in between your upper arm bones, right? And allowing it to be about axial extension. So how long can you be in your spine? Again, yours does not need to look like mine. If you want a little different action, you can bring your hands down to the seat of your chair and soften knees and have some breath here. If you have another version that you love, be in that version. And breathe into it as you say. And then taking your time, walking yourself back up. Good. And a moment of pause to feel. Good. A little bit of balance practice. So with your fingertips on your chair and a steady gaze forward, Inhale, rise up onto your tiptoes, and exhale, come on down. We'll go a few times like that. If you want to hover your fingers, you can hover your fingers. And this is a big strengthener for feet and for ankles. And even if you hang on to your chair the entire time, your body is learning balancing. And the next time you're up, stay up. You can release, be here with your wobbliness, right? The stakes are fairly low. And then come on down and wiggle if you want to. Good. Stepping the feet a little wider. My mat's getting a little bit crazy on this carpet. And then hands on your hips, and we're just going to draw some big circles here. And reverse. And release. Good. And 
You can adjust your body. I'm going to adjust my chair so that now, and my mat. So now that I'm kind of sideways to my chair, so I have my chair in one hand, and I'm going to step the leg closest to the chair in front of me and the other leg behind, allowing my hips to face forward for warrior one. And so here in warrior one, back foot is fully plugged in, and we're gonna soften into the front knee, so we're really strong in our base of support. This is a great place to stay, or you can add the arms. One arm might come up, your outer arm, if you feel relatively stable, both arms can come up. If shoulders want a little more softness, you might even take this into a gentle back bend if you feel stable sternum and gaze toward the sky any amount. It might just be a millimeter and breathe. And then exhale, come down, step your feet together, pause. Good. From here, we're going to come into a balance. So just a breath at a time, a step at a time. On an exhalation, the leg closest to the chair floats behind you. Opposite arm reaches in front of you. So it's for a warrior three variation. Notice where your hips are in space. You might level them out a little bit. And now I'm going to face away from you to come into half moon. So that flying hand, the one that's in front of you, is now going to become the hand that holds the chair. You're going to twist your body open toward your chair. Pop goes my hip. And then reach your fingertips toward the sky. Half moon pose. Just an option. Not a requirement when you're ready to come down, both feet on the ground. Good. And then we'll do a little 180 to the other side. Foot closest to the chair in front of you, other foot behind you, plenty of space side to side so you're stable. And just a step at a time. Pressing into your back foot, softening into your front knee. Inhale, sweep the arm up. Maybe both arms up, a little softness, maybe a gentle back bend. Three big breaths in whatever your expression is. Good. And then step your feet together. Pause. Wiggle it out if you like. And now, like closest to the chair floats behind you. I'm actually going to move my chair to this side so you can see the half moon with me facing you. So leg closest to the chair floats behind you. Opposite arm reaches in front of you. So here's this warrior three. Notice where your hips are in space. You might make an adjustment once you notice. And then those fingers can now find your chair Open your hips toward your chair, and you can reach your arm up and just gaze where it's comfortable. This is a, a big, big shape for the hips. Good. And then climb on down. And move if you want. Good. One last downward facing dog. It can be the same one that you did before. Right? Soft knees, long arms, dropping your head down. Maybe hands come to your chair. A few big breaths. How long can you be in your spine? How steady can you be with your breathing? And when you're ready, slowly come up. Adjust your chair. And make your way down to seated. Pause and feel into the effects of your standing practice. This most important part of our practice of relaxation, I like to bring my block and make myself a little footrest, a little ottoman here. And make sure that you're warm enough. So if you want to put your sweatshirt back on or your socks, and if it feels safe to close your eyes, close your eyes and get comfortable, right? So you might soften through the shoulders. We offer ourselves up 
to the other side of the pattern, the not doing, but rather just the being. Right, a sense of being fully supported by the earth in your chair, the sense of being breathed by everything around you. Soft through hands and feet and arms and legs and hips and shoulders and the belly. Softening deep into the cave of the heart, the collarbones and the neck and the jaw and the lips and the roof of the mouth and the root of the tongue, the cheek. Corners of the eye, the brow, while you're settling in to rest, I will read you a poem, as I've been known to do. Today. Today I'm flying low and I'm not saying a word. I'm letting all the voodoos of ambition sleep. The world goes on as it must, the bees in the garden rumbling a little, the fish leaping, the gnats getting eaten, and so forth. But I'm taking the day off, quiet as a feather. I hardly move, though really I'm traveling a terrific distance. Stillness, one of the doors into the temple. Stillness one of the doors into the temple by my library. And for these next minutes, nowhere to go, nothing to do, and absolutely nobody that you need to be with. Please enjoy resting. The breath might begin to deepen, sliding any props out of the way and climbing your way to a slightly more upright seat. Arriving in a similar place, in a similar shape rather, to where we started just a little while ago. And notice after moving and breathing and listening, after being super sweet and vulnerable and self-compassionate, how do you feel in your body? Where are you at in your mind? And then drop deep down into your loving heart. Acknowledge your effort and your dedication to your practice. If you'd like, one last time, hands join together in front of the heart and be with your intention. We seal a practice of cleansing breath three on.
Thank you. Namaste. Hi, friends. Mm -hmm.